How's everybody doing tonight? This is the simplest, the easiest beginner tutorial uh, on how to bring HRIs into Blender. Uh, this will be very baseline. Um, I'm just going to show you how to download one, bring it in, and then just rotate it. Very basic stuff. There are a bunch of cool add-ons that you can get with HRIs to make them do uh, some pretty interesting things in Blender, but we're not going to be looking at that. It's just strictly like this is how you bring an HRI into Blender. So uh, what you want to do right off the bat is you want to go to HDRI Haven. At the time that I'm recording this, which is during the 2.91 Blender um, patch, this is the absolute best place to get HDRIs. I don't anticipate that this will change very much in the future. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to go and you're going to find um, an HDRI that you want in your scene. Um, HDRI files come with lighting actually built into it, plus it's a great background. So uh, you can really just save a lot of time uh, setting up your scenes, especially outdoor ones. So uh, I'm going to pick this one, I think, the Kiera 8 Sunset. So I'm going to click on it. Now, if you want um, your renders to actually have the HRI uh, background photo in it, then you want to use the 8K, at least, I think. Uh, well, 4K might work, but I like to use 8K. So... Um, but if it's going to be hidden by like a backdrop of a city or something like that, then you want to use 1K because you'll get the same lighting. Uh, it's just basically 100 times smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, Kiera 8 Sunset here. And this is another one that I had just downloaded, uh, but I want to run through it. So uh, yeah, Kiera 8 Sunset. We're just going to let that load for a second. And while that's loading, we are going to open up Blender. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Shift A. We're going to make a plane. We're going to hit S5 just to make a little platform. And then we're going to add in a cube if you um, don't have a cube already added. A lot of people have the cube in by default, but I just set my file up so it doesn't open with the cube. All right. So looking pretty good so far. Let's hold Z and then go up to rendered mode. And there's no lighting So because I, I delete the default light. Um, so we're going to need to add in the HDRI. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to this uh, picture of like the globe uh, with the axis world properties click on that uh, we're going to go down to this color thing here with the color uh, bar and we're going to click on the yellow dot so you'll get a menus pop up here under texture we're going to go to environment texture uh, if you get to this point that's good that means you did it correct uh, what this just basically means is that blender is looking for an hdri but the texture is missing um, so yeah, now we can load that in. Uh, there should be a new and an open. We'll just open. We'll go to uh, downloads and I'll type in Kiera, Kiera 8 Sunset. There it is. We'll give this a second to load. And as you can see, just like that, we now have a bunch of lighting in our scene. Uh, and this lighting actually matches the lighting um, of when uh, this person uh, took the camera and made this panorama. So yeah, HDRI is a really powerful tool. Uh, I am going to show you a couple quick things that you can also do with them. So what you want to do is come up here. You want to uh, hover over the, the corner here until you see the crosshairs. Left click it and then drag it. Sometimes it can be a little um, finicky. Just to, you know, may have to take a couple of tries. I find that it uh, you know doesn't always cooperate. Uh, but as you can see, this is the solid mode view and then this is the rendered mode view. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, click editor type. We're going to go to the shader editor. You can also just click shading, but I just like to have the side by side comparison for this one. So you should just see this. We don't have any um, regular textures in there, so this should be blank object world. All right. So now we see here's the sunset HDRI. Here's the background going into the world output. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click off of those. We're going to hit shift a we're going to go uh, to the search bar and we're type in mapping and now we're going to type in uh, shift a again we're going to go to texture coordinate so i'll just zoom out a little bit drag this here um, now normally when you're doing this you'd use uv but for this one we use generated so we go generated into the vector here and then the vector goes into this vector and then what we can do is we can go down to like the rotation and we'll go 90. and as you can see that shifts uh, everything in the scene uh, and then just like that, you kind of have something quick that you can just adjust where the lighting is coming from just to get that perfect lighting. Uh, there is one last thing that we're going to do. So I'm going to drag this over just so that it gets rid of it. As you can see, that's looking pretty good already. But maybe you're in a scene where you want the lighting, but you don't want to have any background where, you know, for compositing or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, we're going to go into the 
the scene uh, or render property, sorry. And then we're going to go down to film and we're going to hit transparent. And if you hit that now, everything outside, like all these uh, checkered uh, areas here, then that will just kind of work like when you have a PNG and it's just, it's transparent. There's nothing there. So if you slapped it on top of another image, then uh, you will only see this cutout here. And uh, yeah, so that's that's like the most basic tutorial I think that you could have about how to bring HDRIs into Blender. Um, if you didn't know about HDRI Haven, I really recommend that you use it. Um, as I believe I mentioned, they're free and it's also royalty free. So um, if you find an HDRI you really like, you can bring it into your project, even if it's for uh, commercial purposes. And uh, if you uh, found that they really helped you out, uh, then I would... Uh, you know, recommend that you think about uh, donating to HR Haven because they do uh, some great work and they help just tons of artists out with it. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a good night.